Hello there, World of Tankers. Welcome to the channel. Hopefully, all of you are doing well out there. I'm, of course, your host, Tedrodal Splits, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the brand new Czechoslovakian medium tank line that will be entering World of Tanks Blitz in update 7.7, .7, which is pretty dang cool. As you can see, I have my hands on the open test server. Thankfully, a couple friends here were able to get my hands on it. And as you can see, we've got the Skoda T25, the T34100, TVP VTU, the Skoda T50, and as well, the TVP. P T5051. This is going to be the new line entering the game in the next update, which is pretty dang exciting. Hopefully, it'll be coming into the game probably by the end of this month. Our last update we got really didn't change much in the game. So, this is a big update, bringing a brand new line into Blitz. And these are the burst autoloaders, or at least three of them are, which would be the Tier 10, the TVP, the Skoda T50, and as well, Funny enough, the Tier 6 is actually a burst autoloader, the Skoda T25. So, the Tier 7 and the Tier 8 are... I don't really like the look of the Tier 8 at all. Let me know what you guys think about the Tier 8 in the comments. It's it's like a tiger, but ugly and demented. Yeah, we're, we're going to get onto that. But we're going to be breaking down all three of these vehicles, talking about the stats, and how they're going to perform in actual gameplay. I can do some training rooms, but there's really not much else I can do. So, you know what? We'll go up against the Mighty Tog with the Skoda T25. Let me just put on our consumables here. So, what is going to be good about this tank? Well, as I said, this is going to be a burst autoloader. Let me just put on this. I don't want to keep the guy waiting. And, uh, yeah, there we go. Now, the burst autoloaders, the way they work, let me just ready up here and let's do it. So the way the burst autoloaders are going to work is that it's going to have three shells with a 1.5 second intra clip, which is pretty cool. So in a matter of three seconds, you're dealing what, about 400 damage with this tank? Not too bad at all. This of course is based off of the tier five, or yeah, it is the tier five German premium medium tank, the T25. Unfortunately, as you can see, my uh, FPS is kind of wonky on the test server, but this is the test server. So sometimes not everything goes the way you want it to, but we're hopefully gonna be beating the mighty Tog in the first 1v1 here. Now, this is on the RU server, so I actually don't know uh, really any of the people here. They all speak Russian, and that's something that kind of sucks, so... And also, there's only like 12 people on max on the test server at a time. So let's see, there's the Tog. Hello, Tog, how are you doing? There's one shell into him. Let's start reloading our clip already. So we got one shell out at least, another 12 seconds before we get it loaded again. So at least we know where the Tog is. Let's make our way over to fight him. We may only have a little bit of health, but you cannot beat the mighty TVP. So I'm actually very excited for the tier six. This is gonna be the tank that I think is very good. Wow, the Tog's got a lot of armor now that they've buffed it, but look at that. It's got such a nice gun. There you go. We got three shells into that Tog, and that's 484 hit points in a matter of just three seconds. We've already brought him down to less than our HP. Now, in just a couple more seconds here, we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait. Oh, gee, here we go. Let's load in premium and let's start tapping this guy again. How did he miss me? I'd love to know, but let's get one more standard shell into the side. Of him. Keep backing up. Keep backing up. Go, go, go. We can beat him. Yee. There we go. Okay, we got in the cover. That's all good. And yeah, this tank's pretty good, as you can see. It's got a really nice clip, although it does take a long time to get all the shells out. I think that this is going to be a very, very strong tank. So let's see if we can get off to the side of the Mighty Tog here. And there's one shell in. Here's two, and here comes the final one. Yee, I don't like that. I don't like that. How do we take this guy out? We could ram him. Oh, he doesn't have gun depression over the rear, though. Yes. Oh, you're going to get rammed by the tier six. Oh, oh, that didn't work at all. Keep going. Keep going. We, we've we still got a couple seconds left. You can see, though, the clip reload is very, very long. So you're going to have to make work of the reload when you're running this tank. It's a very long reload. 14.2 seconds is almost what a KV-1S is reload. Uh, not really. KV-1S is, is like 21 seconds. But it is still quite a bit of time. So let's make our way now onto the tier seven. Now, I'm not sure if these, vehicle, these people are going to ready up in the a tier 7 vehicle, but the tier 7 as well seems like a pretty solid vehicle. What it's got, as it says in the title, is a 100 millimeter gun. It's called the T34-100, so it carries a 280 alf or average damage gun, which is pretty good, but the premium has 275 millimeters of pen, which is ridiculous when you think about it. Ah, here we go. Yes, you can sit in middle. Now we go a 1v1 against the T34-100. So this thing has got a really nice gun. It's got 100 millimeters, which is 280 alpha. It's the same type of average damage you'd find on your tier 8 mediums, which is good. It's also very mobile. I think it goes upwards of 50 kilometers per hour. It's based off of a T34 hull, T34 85. So, uh, 
I'm just gonna say 1v1. I don't, I really don't know any Russian. That's the only thing that sucks. It's just kind of like playing on my RU account. So, yeah, this tank looks really nice. It's quick, as you can see, very quick, and the, it's got 7 degrees of gun depression. So, pretty good stuff going for it here. It's, as well, got a very quick reload. Only 8.4 seconds for dealing 280 damage, or 270. Not too bad. Honestly, I'm very, very excited to play this vehicle. And, uh, we're gonna be seeing what we can do. I, I really have no clue what this guy's saying, but where is the enemy teammates? But but uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this line. The only issue I will say is the tier eight. It, yeah, it's ugly. The tier nine, I also think looks ugly. And same for the the tier ten doesn't look bad, but I don't think it looks great. I think it looks meh. But it's it's meh. I, I really don't know what to think about. It. Take this. Yes, and we bounced. We're going to win. Oh, you can't beat the mighty TV. Uh, this is not the TVP. So as well, you can see it's got pretty good penetration there. But the heat, two hundred and seventy five millimeters, is crazy. Oh, I wonder if we can pen him with HE there. Let's try. Let's try. For the fun. Yes. Oh, the HE was beautiful. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> the test server, as you can see, has some issues. He tried the HE me, but look at that. One already. So that's actually a really big exposable weakness, as you can see there. If you're running a smash or something like that, easy HE right on the turret ring, it looks like. But pretty good tank for science. I'm, uh, I'm liking this vehicle. Seems very good, though. I like the alpha. Something that's really nice. The alpha's good. It's got decent DPM, as you can see. How much DPM does it sit at? Eh, 1,900. Not too bad, to be fair. Let's make our way onto the Tier 8, though, which I'm not very excited for. I, I think the Tier 8's got a lot of good things going for it. The gun is one of them. It's got a very, very nice gun. It's got 310 alpha. It carries, again, I think 100 millimeter. Yeah, actually 105 millimeter. So 105 millimeter, 310 standard damage, and the HE is very nice at 420. The issue is 6 degrees of gun depression, very poor. But the premium pen at 299 is crazy when you think about it. Now we're 1v1ing him in the tier 8, so I like this guy. Thank you for playing. Oh, he's a Wargaming staff. I did not know that. I wonder if he actually works for Wargaming or uh, I only let's just say I only speak English. Alright, there you go. Unfortunately, I only speak English, so uh, let's say N-A. So we'll, we'll do that. Hopefully he knows that I only speak English, but let's keep making our way See if we can 1v1 them. Now, I'm not sure if that's actually the Wargaming Clan, because I know Wargaming on the actual RU server, they have an actual Wargaming Clan, but at the same time, I'm not sure that, uh, I'm not sure if Wargaming has, ooh, H, what was that, stock gun? I'm not sure what he's doing, but you can see that this thing is really, really ugly. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not the best looking vehicle, but nice shot into the TVP there. Oh, back up, back up. Stay away from me. Stay away. I don't like this. Oh, oh, he's, he's poking me. Oh, he penned us. You know what? You're going to get a nice... Oh, let's see how it looks with HE. Yeah, it's actually pretty HE proof. I wonder, can you pen the sides with HE? Nope, back up. Stay away from me. I don't like you. You're ugly, just like your, your family. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, take this. Take this. Oh, yeah, we're winning. So this tank, it doesn't seem bad. You know, I he's running the stock gun for some reason, but it doesn't seem bad. I think the gun's decent on it. It's got, uh, it's got decent DPM, as you can see. Decent gun depression, good mobility. The issue is no armor whatsoever. Like you saw there, we easily cut through the armor. So this thing is not armored. Even though it's this big, chunky thing, it's not armored at all. Look at that. He already knows I'm pulling out the Tier 9. Let's go into the Tier 9, test it out. So the Tier 9 is a burst autoloader. This is the first stage of the actual autoloaders that everybody wants to play. So this thing is kind of like a Bat Chation 25T. It carries three shells, 310 damage, and it's got a 2.5 second venture clip. It takes a long time though to, uh, to, I'm just gonna put a smiley face. It takes a long time to reload each shell. So it takes, yeah, or not long, sorry. I, I'm trying to realize what this guy's saying there, but, um, yeah, it takes, it takes 15 seconds, 16 seconds to reload the whole clip, I meant to say. And then it's only a 2.5 second interval between each shell. And this is the longest it gets. The next one is 2 seconds between each shot. So very, very nice there. You can see the tank is quick, goes 60 kilometers per hour. But yeah, it's not a very pretty tank, is it? The checks were not the best tank designers, I can tell you that. So where is this guy? Hello, comrade, where are you going? I don't really know where he is. So, turret armor, by the way, all the armor for all the tanks is absolutely useless. There's no armor on the entire line. Just like they look, they're very easy tanks. This looks almost like a boat you would stick in your bathtub and just float with as, like, a kid. He doesn't have any armor. Ah, here he is. Take this! Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. He might beat me. Take this, comrade, and, uh, come on. Auto-aim. Oh, my God. You can see, though, the test server does have lag. No! No! Go, go, go! Don't shoot me! Ah, oh, no! Ah, oh, no. That's not good. That's not good at all. 
I don't like. You know what? We might be able to kill him, though. We might. We might just be able to take him out. Uh-oh. I don't like this. All right, reload. Reload. Reload the clip. And fire. There you go. And then we reload it. This is big brain. I'm just going to instantly reload our clip. So we have two... Sh yeah, we're reloading three. And this is the big brain. Haha! -ha! You cannot beat me. He's not going to expect this. Oh, no, 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 no. This isn't allowed. So we still need to get... It's going to take him two shells to finish me off. I need to yeet around this corner and get the first shell out before him. So here we go. You ready for it? And yeet! Yes, we got you. You, we got you. You're done. Done for. Ha ha! And take this! Yes, look at that. So we big brained him. But yeah, this tank as well. Three shells, 310 alpha. Pretty good looking vehicle. The issue with the tanks, is which I'll get into after I do this last one, is the DPM isn't great. Like, you'll look at the tier 9 and the DPM's... Actually, wow, I take it back. The tier 9 has got very good DPM. DPM at 2600. The tier 10 does not have the most DPM. It's only sitting at as well 2600. If we take a look really quickly here, yeah, bad DPM. 2640, it's very poor. So not only does it have very poor DPM, ooh, Progetto 65. Now I have tested this thing against tier 10s. I've played about 15 games in it. 1v1s, it's really bad because of course the Progetto, it's going to be able to clip me and then it'll continue to shoot me and I'll lose. It's got a very, very long clip reload, 22 seconds. Uh, I'm just gonna say English. Uh, I, I, unfortunately, I only speak English. But, um, yeah, let's make our way over to the, uh, this side over here. I wish that some of the Wargaming stuff did speak. Well, I guess some of them do speak English. One thing that I had a really cool idea was, as many of you know, uh, Tony and Alexander, which are the Wargaming representatives, they do the streams for NA. I, I had a really cool idea that I could, uh, do some of the streams and help them out, but, uh, I'm going to have to talk to Victor, which would be a pain in the booty to set up. But if you guys would like to see that, make a petition on Wargaming Server. All right, let's get our final shell out on this guy. Take that. Yes. Okay, now we need the backup. So as you can see here, I pretty much traded shot for shot with the Progetto. We've got about the same health. We've got about uh, yeah, pretty much everything's the same. But yeah, this is where the tank's really vulnerable is reloading the clip. A 22.5 second clip reload is going to take a while. This thing's pretty much like a Lorraine 40T. But oh boy, is that two second interval really quick. I honestly think that this tank's going to be a little too strong for any Unicums because you can imagine how strong it would be to run this vehicle. Imagine a double platoon of these with any competent player. Come on, take this. Yes, we out reload him. Come on, get one more out. Oh, you can't beat me. Premium. Ha ha. There you go. Pretty good game for the TVP once again. So as you can see, it's pretty good looking. I think that all the tanks are actually decent apart from the tier seven, uh, the eight. Sorry, the eight looks really, really ugly. I'm going to close the room because uh, we, we did good stuff. So das wird dann, ihr Kamerad. But uh, this alone, I think it's going to be a really good tier 10. Honestly, I think this in double platoon and any really skilled player is going to be able to dominate in this tank. It's definitely going to be harder for any newer players. If you're new to the game, I would highly suggest you stay away from this line when you do get it because it's got a, such a long clip reload. Like, if you got any smart players going up against you, they'll just rush you after you clip and you're dead. Like, I went up against a smarter Russian player in the E50M and he just rushed me and killed me. So, it's definitely got a lot of issues going for it, but at the same time, it seems to be a pretty solid tank. The tier 9 really good as well. You can see pretty much the same DPM. The tier 8, decent, I, other than it being really ugly, which is why I'll never drive it. I think the whole line looks really good, so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and it's all about that gaming uh, streaming idea, but... That's one thing I'd like to talk about on a different topic. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, if you do and you want to see more like it, more open test footage or other stuff like that in the future, please let me know in the uh, comments down below as it helps out the channel a crazy, crazy amount. Thank you for Wargaming for giving me this count. But other than that, hopefully all of you are doing well out there. Stay happy, stay healthy, and to be seeing you in the next one.